I had my blepharoplasty and my first rhinoplasty in Korea. The silicone implant went to the side, oh, right. so I had to get it done again in China and then again in Poland, and then again last year in Armenia. The bottom line is you want to get a nose that looks like Jamim? Yeah, I mean, I want to do a lot of things. I'm going to Korea this year, so I'm going to change my face, V-line jaw surgery. You can't make this smaller because there's no cartilage here. It's gone. Your, your nose already is as close as possible. You're, you're done. I'm kind of in shock right now. Dr. Nassif obviously is the best, so I kind of need to listen to his advice but then I kind of need to continue following my dream to look like Jamin. I was given a referral and sent to a doctor, and he says, I don't know what you do have. You might be a reportable case, young lady. No one likes to hear, I don't know, or you may have a reportable case from a doctor. Okay, can you turn your head that way? I can tell by looking at Gisela's nose with 100% confidence that this is not a malignant tumor. However, there is something there, I just don't know where it is. While we're in the operating room, we did a literature search. So you're the sixth person that possibly is allergic to proline suture. Wow. Thanks to Dr. Nassif, I finally have answers. My nose made me unique because of it being such a rare case. And the fact that it looks amazing is just an added bonus. I had um, a BBO and vasolipo. Vasolipo of the abdomen? Yeah, and everywhere. So you had a BBL, you didn't have buttock implants? No. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't know, actually. I, uh, I, I, well, you no. know. <laughs> you would know if you have an implant in your butt. I don't know. I have no idea what's in my butt. It could be excess fluids, excess fat, Turkish coffee. I've not, I've not got a clue. The only way to do these properly is to two-stage them. You do one first, and then you do the other. The reason Jordan surgery has to be two-stage is that buttock surgery requires you to lay flat, and abdominal surgery requires you to lay in a flex position. So if you do them both at the same time, one's going to be sacrificed over the other. Go for it. My bum is no longer a catastrophe. It's more like an astrophy. <laughs>